My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything. He created everything, places and times. And He creates what He wishes. وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَارُ Your Lord creates what He wishes and what He is pleased with. And among the things that Allah has created is time. And this time that Allah has created, just like everything else, Allah has made some better than others. Just like certain places Allah made better than others. Mecca, Medina, Masjid Al-Aqsa. The Masajid are better than any other place. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen certain times, certain months, certain days, certain hours to be better than others. إِنَّ عِدَّةَ الشُّهُورِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ اثْنَا عَشَرَ شَهْرًا فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ يَوْمَ خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ مِنْهَا أَرْبَعَةٌ حُرُمٌ Allah tells us in Surah At-Tawbah that the months are 12 in the sight of Allah. On the day that Allah created the heavens and the earth. But of these 12 months, Allah has made four to be sacred. And among these four months is the month that we are currently in, Dhul Hijjah. And of this month, the first third of the month is more special than the rest of it. And so the days in which we are in right now, the first 10 days of this month of Dhul Hijjah, which began on Wednesday, these days are the best days of the year. The Prophet wasallam said, Afdal, Afdalu ayyami dunya, Al-Ashr min hijjah That the best days of the dunya are the first days of the month of Dhul Hijjah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Inna a'zam al-yawmi, inna a'zam al-ayyami inda Allahi tabaraka wa ta'ala yawm al-nahr. And the best day, the greatest day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the tenth of Dhul Hijjah the day of an nahr the day of slaughter, the day of Eid. And these days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swore by them, took an oath by them in the Qur'an. Wal-Fajr, walayalin ashr. Allah swore, took an oath by Al-Fajr, and layalin ashr, the ten nights. The majority of the scholars of tafsir, from the Sahaba and those who came after them, say what is meant by these ten nights are the first ten of the hijjah and so because these days are special because these days are virtuous allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made good deeds and ibadah to be more beloved to him than at any other time of the year the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said ma min ayyamin العمل الصالح فيها أحب إلى الله من هذه الأيام. That there are no days in which good deeds, righteous deeds, are more beloved to Allah than during these days. And so the companions they asked, يا رسول الله، ولا الجهاد في سبيل الله. Not even performing jihad in the path of Allah. Because they knew that this is one of the best of deeds. And so they asked if a person was to go out for jihad outside of these days, in any other time of the year. And yet a person was to come in these days and perform salah, fast, do any kind of good deeds. That person in these days doing these deeds is better than the one performing jihad outside of these days? 
the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَلَا الْجِهَادُ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ إِلَّا رَجُلْ خَرَجَ بِنَفْسِهِ وَمَالِهِ وَلَمْ يَرْجِعْ مِنْ ذَلِكَ بِشَيْءٍ He said, no, not even jihad in the path of Allah, except a man who goes out in jihad with his, with his self and his wealth, and he doesn't come back with anything, meaning that he is martyred, he attains shahada in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This hadith was narrated by Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhumah. And the one who narrated it from him was Sa'id ibn Jubayr. It is reported that Sa'id ibn Jubayr, when these 10 days would come, these first days, these first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah, Sa'id ibn Jubayr would devote himself to ibadah to such an extent that if a person wanted to find him, he wouldn't be able to find him. He wouldn't be able to meet him. And so the Salaf, they used to spend these days in the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They used to devote themselves. And they used to seclude themselves in the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not busy themselves with anything else. 